I remember. I remember everything. Remembering everything doesn't mean you know everything. Tell me. Well, in 2002, one of the great movie action franchises came upon us, uh, perfect for the 21st century. Jason Bourne is the guy, and the Bourne identity was the very first of several movies with this character, a former CIA operative on the run with no memory of what he knows, but dangerous nonetheless with many people in pursuit of him. Now, this has gone through several films, uh, most notably The Bourne Ultimatum in 2007, which became an Academy Award winner, taking editing and sound uh, Oscars uh, for three Academy Awards that year, and really uh, remains for me the best and most exciting of those films. Jesus Christ, that's Jason Bourne. Fortunately now, original star Matt Damon has reunited with the franchise's director Paul Greengrass for Jason Bourne, and it's very exciting and right up to date, right in with the times and all the stuff going on in cyberspace and how that affects this. We see old characters and new characters. Now, Julia Stiles is back as Nikki Parsons. Uh, she has discovered some top secret files and stolen them and is trying to dump them with the uh, WikiLeaks type organization, uh, files that the CIA does not want revealed in any way, shape, or form. This is Jason Bourne. I need to talk. The new head of the CIA is Tommy Lee Jones. He's a grizzled veteran and uh, a very, very tough guy who is also dealing with Heather Lee. She's a new analyst there at the CIA, and she stumbled onto Nikki and suspects that Nikki is up to no good here, and so she traces her all along. People can do this now. It's like they're watching TV on all these computer screens and things in a big mission control type center uh, there at the CIA, so every move is known. But of course, Jason Bourne in the form of Matt Damon can outwit anyone, and he does, even though uh, Dewey has put an assassin, a ruthless hitman by the name of The Asset, played by French actor Vincent Cassell, on his tail, determined uh, to uh, take care of him. I volunteered because of a lie. All of this mixes up into the usual mix of nonstop action, chases everywhere. That's the most typical thing uh, of these movies. We've seen it so many times before. Uh, I still thought it was well done and exciting, if just a little ludicrous, perhaps. This Jason Bourne does not let up, and it does not disappoint. It's so good to have Matt Damon back in this role. I enjoyed Alicia Vikander and Tommy Lee Jones and uh, all of the characters here. They make for a good time at the movies. I say, go.